as the uh, example. We go image, image size, and the width of all these maximum. Well, first off, you can change this to 72 DPI. I'm just going to leave it a little small. So I'm going to put it back to about, say, 100. And you want the width to be no more than 600 pixels. <clears throat> so you change that to 600. OK. It's going to shrink down. So you go <clears throat> view and fit on screen. You get a better view of it. And then you're going to want to go to File, Save for Web and Devices. You're going to change, you're going to set it as a JPEG. You're going to change this to about 60, which is usually good for an image. And that brings the file size down significantly, as you can see. And then you're going to save. Save it to wherever you like. I'm going to create a new folder called Falkirk on my desktop. <laughs> Save. And then I'm going to come back to the page that I'm editing. And here's how Falkirk currently looks, which, as you know, is not the way it should look. And so I have the edit window directly here. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is see where Falkirk is supposed to be located. So in the file structure that you gave us originally, if I look gallery, so it should be under parks and recreation. There'll be national, state, and regional parks. And then the Falkirk Locks Scotland, which you've already put the name up here. So that's taken care of. So now I'm going to want to select the areas that should be seen in the portfolio. So if I come over here, it's not architectural interior, it's not exhibitless environment, it's parks and recreation and state and regional parks. And if we mess these up, they're easily changeable as you just reopen this editable window and click off the one that it's supposed to be and click the one, the new one that you would like. And you come down and this wasn't here the other day and it should have been and it's ah here it is <laughs> pardon me so here is where you update the portfolio slides so what you're going to want to do choose file and then navigate to where you put the files that you want to upload onto the website into the gallery choose that file And that should be that. And then you're going to want to come back up to set featured image. And here, if you want to, sorry, I'm skipping ahead. If you want to add another, just simply click add another. And I believe you can do that infinite amount of times. Just keep going and going. Um, the other big thing to remember is to, for discussions, you don't want people commenting on these. So you're going to turn these off on every one that you create. I may just go in and make the site you know, that not even available, so you don't have to worry about that. So to set the featured image, you can come into the gallery, and the gallery will hold all the things that you've recently put in here. And, it, you know, as you can see, you've put in a, a number of them. Where is the one that I just uploaded? We'll use this for now. So show. And you can leave all the same. What you want to do is click Use as Featured Image. And save. And then you can just close that window out. That's it. Going to update that. I was just looking to see if there's anything I was missing. And then you're going to refresh your page. 
And there you have it. <clears throat> As you add more, the little scroll buttons here will come back and you'll be able to you know, click through the different things. Now, if you also want to alter this text here, what we can do is come into the editable window. I'm going to show you a few quick tricks. You want to change Falkirk wheel. I'm going to make this an H2 heading. And I'm going to change that color to green. So I'm going to go to more colors. <clears throat> and here, uh, I've created a page, which I will share with you shortly, that has all of your colors and all of your styles that you can just easily copy out. So that's the dark green color. I'm going to paste it in there and click apply. And there you go. And then for location, I think this should be bold and possibly green as well. And the same with designer and green as well. And then if I want to make Falkirk Scotland italics, it's as simple as that. And I think that's good for now. And I'm going to update that. Again, come back to the gallery, refresh it, <clears> hmm, <throat> and there you go. So it added just a little bit of style to your um, to the page, and that is that. And please let me know if you have any questions.